we sign a contract at the start of every year. It's like a list of rules saying that I will not, I will not, I will not. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. We do things a little bit differently oh. here. I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. I've never had a girlfriend my entire life. Everyone around here is trying to find their spouse. It's like a marriage hunting ground. You don't want to miss out on what this campus has to offer. And the atmosphere is like a giant utopia. This whole thing is embarrassing. Why did I even agree to this? Yes, Robert. Are you gonna go to sleep? Robert, I'm, in, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, okay? okay? I know you're in the middle of something, but can you pick it back up tomorrow? Well, Robert, I can't pick it up tomorrow because I am actually getting rid of my phone and social media, and I had to put it away because it's technically tomorrow now, since it's midnight. Okay, so put it away and go to bed. I just did. And now I gotta write letters to people. Don't what? worry, I'll be quiet like a church mouse. Why are you writing letters to people? Because obviously I just put my phone away and I can't call them, so I have to send them letters now. Oh, look, I can text them if you it can. It doesn't work like that, Robert. It's more sincere this way. Most people fast on like Easter and stuff. Why are you doing that now? Uh, because your spiritual walk is a never ending journey, Robert, and just shouldn't be limited to Easter. I have chosen my phone because I am too much on my phone. Hey, uh, uh, Tony. Yes, uh, Robert? There's this really sweet YouTube video I was just watching. Top 10 explosions. What What did I just say? I said I'm fasting. I can't look at this. Oh, wow. There's a new uh, Taylor Swift song out. I mm, highly doubt that. I follow her like a hawk. Oh, it's got this great music video. Mm, that's a lie. That's a lie, Robert. Oh, did you get that email from Campus Safety? What's the email about? Email says to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Tony. Cassie just sent me a text. Hey. Robert, is Tony still up? Winky face. I am 99.9% .9 sure that she did not send that. She totally did. No, she did not. Screw you, Tony. I'm going to sleep. I'm so excited. Actually? Really? Yeah. I guess be excited <laughs> so now because the nerves will hit later. If I anyone's going to be nervous, him. it's going to be Caitlin. I can. I'm probably going to be like calming him. How now. did you get him? Ew. Ew. Him in the road. Oh, it's like totally dead. Uh -uh. How did you get Caitlin to go with I you? honestly like, that don't even know, skill. but he was so willing to go with me. Do you feel like kind of the reason that Caitlin's going with you is because he feels like he's kind of like walking on thin ice? No. Walking on eggshells. He's not walking on thin ice or eggshells. We've been having these issues and we've been really, really trying to work through them and I think he's just putting in an extra effort right now. So, I think this is good. I Baby don't know. I don't understand how you got him to do it. If I don't hear from you, I'm assuming you died. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye, love Okay, you. have I'm a good fine. day. Tell me how I will. You, okay? I'm gonna have the best time of my life. Bye. Bye. Hey, champ. How are you? Tony, my boy. I'm doing my, I'm doing my box sick and a few lettuce. Oh. Well, as you know, we were fasting, and I didn't text you last night. I noticed. But I have this letter for you. It explains everything. What do you mean it expl It explains what I'm fasting from and why I didn't text you. Where's your bike? I am fasting from that, too. So. Perhaps I should just read the letter. Yeah, you just read the letter. It'll explain everything. Come in. All right.
Thought you over here? Thought I stopped by? To Steve. With two E's. I'm fasting from my phone so you will not be able to text or call me from Tony <laughs> with a demon cell phone in flames. P.S. Also fasting from my bike and humor. <laughs> that might be like the funniest thing he's done. Like even when he, he's fasting from humor and he's made a giant letter for me with a demon cell phone on it. Oh, I feel like there's something I can do. A kid like that can't fast from humor. This is fake. It's skydiving. <laughs> Are you nervous? Is... I don't even think You're it's never real. scared. We're at Lake Elsinore and we're going skydiving. Skydiving is kind of something I've always wanted to do, and I just decided to go for it and take drag Kaylin with me. <laughs> Come on, you two. Go. After you, jump, Sue. <laughs> he's been good about it. I know he's scared of heights. It's like not his thing. He doesn't like roller coasters. Our class schedules work out really nicely, so on Wednesdays we don't have any class. So, what a better way to spend your Wednesday than jumping out of a plane. He's nervous. What? I saw this one girl on YouTube resist jumping, slid out of her harness. I'm showing, I'm demonstrating. Slipped out of this part and was just hanging by her legs. Yeah, yeah. That My shoulder straps are feeling a little, a little loose. loose. She might come right out of that. Like her. Luckily, she hung on the whole time and saved her own life. A friend of mine shot the video on that. Are you being oh, dead serious? Really? Yeah, yeah. But luckily, she hung on and they survived. But uh, before you jump, you're going to be probably tighter than you ever wanted to be, closer to another okay. man than you ever wanted to be. Debatable. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what was your worst experience, though? Uh, worst experience. No, I'm really this won't scare you Sometimes people under parachute, they get sick. You get puke all over the place. Oh. Okay. Uh, I've oh, also yeah. had people under the parachute just straight up pass out. How many people? And just like. <laughs> okay. No, they really just like chill. <laughs> so you know. I've passed out a few times at high altitudes, like in Tahoe. So I didn't. I didn't really think about that <laughs> until now. <laughs> I think that would be one of the funniest things ever is she passed out for her whole jump. Because <laughs> then it's like she never went skydiving. <laughs> Talk quietly to thieves in this town. There's not a single verse that is free to move around. Tony gave me this letter saying that he's fasting from his phone, his bike, his humor, which is everything to that kid. So I figured what could be funny is setting him up with a friend of mine who might be the funniest person I know. Other than, uh, they're on par. She's the female version of Tony. And so I've set him up on a date and I don't know how he's gonna survive without any humor in there. It's gonna be great. Tony, over here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, so um, this is a really nice blanket if you wanna. I was thinking we could take off our shoes. Uh, what Tony doesn't know going into the date, though, is that I've already talked to Emily, and she's going to be playing the cliché Biola girl with him the whole time and just essentially messing with him on the date. And he can't do anything but try and be serious the whole time, so it's going to be brilliant. Are you hungry? I am hungry. Okay, yes. I got... Do you like chicken? Are you a vegetarian? I... I am not. Good. I, like, hate... Well, I don't hate anything. I love everything. But, um, I hate vegetarians, but I, like, love them. But anyway, okay. Sorry, I, like, talk so much when I get... It's okay. Here, you want to hold it? I okay. would love to hold this. Um, I got some napkins. Do you, like, lots of napkins or, like... A medium amount of napkins okay. would suffice. Like, like, four? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, that, there you That go. would be great. Cool. So you have you ever been in um, like a relationship before, or sorry, I just like want to get to know you. Okay. And yeah, no, no, that is a legit question. Okay. I have. I'm starving, so I'm. Okay, start... okay, yeah. Okay. Just go for it. We can just look at that. That that's <laughs> great. Just, you know, all up. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want this one. Steve, you know about my fast, and here you are 
setting me up with someone that's gonna really challenge me. How dare you, Steve? How dare you? I feel like the whole day leading up to skydiving, it was like, wasn't really, it didn't feel real until we started getting on the plane. And then once we boarded, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm about to jump out of this plane. And I just didn't know what to expect. And then it's kind of like, it's go time. <laughs> you get in there and everyone's like buckling in, buckling out, like fixing your straps and you're like, am I attached to my tandem diver? Where's my parachute? I don't know. It was really scary. And then we started ascending. And then once we got to a certain point, you would look out of the plane and it just looked fake almost. So it's kind of like your fear, well, my fear at least, kind of just subsided. And I was like, okay, like this is, isn't real. I'm not actually jumping out. And then once the door opens, then you get scared again. I knew Tony couldn't laugh, but to actually not have somebody laugh at your jokes, it kind of kind of soul crushing. It suddenly didn't become a prank anymore. It became uh, like a like a mission. I have not been in any relationship. Okay. No. And that's just because it hasn't come around. Not that I cannot be in a relationship. Right. It just hasn't come around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, when did you? How long have you been a Christian for? Like, when did you? accept Jesus into your life, or like... You just, like you're, just, you're just diving in. Yeah, what's your testimony? Let's just, I really want to just, I really want to get to know you, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't like wasting time. I hate that. I mean, I don't hate anything, but, you know. Yeah, except for bed. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the quick summary. Okay. Because, unfortunately, like, I, I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. But like be transparent, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was extremely hard Balance. not like, to laugh. I just felt like everything she said was an attack against my humor threshold. Is your hair naturally that color? Mm. We have like the same hairstyle. I love it. Like, if we were a couple, like, people would be like, look at them, they have the same hair. You know, I kind of felt a little guilty, you know? He's doing this thing for God, and I'm just trying to mess with him. But I didn't care. I, I wanted him to break. I should probably tell you now that I am actually fasting from humor. So... What? If, yeah, yeah. Um, I am traditionally a, um, outspoken. I like to say witty remarks, but... I decided to change for a day and not do that. Why? Because I'm fasting. Is it like Lent or something? No, 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 it's just, just on my own. So why would you do a fast that makes you like dead inside? It's not, no, it's making me alive in the sense. You feel alive right now? It's making me more alive. Oh my gosh, you're kind of smiling. Are you breaking? What happens if you break? I don't know. That was good. Okay? No, no, yeah, I'm great, I'm great. It's just, it's really hard to. Your face is like really red. No, I think it's the chicken. <gasps> it's not the chicken, okay. we're eating the same chicken. Yeah. Oh, bone, bone, so much, oh. I think Kaylin agreed to go skydiving with me because he knows that it could be good for us to kind of bond over and um, his words were, he wanted to go with me because if I'm gonna be jumping out of a plane like he's he wants to be the one who's next to me. So um, I thought that was cute. Before he jumped out, I could just tell by the look on his face that he was terrified. 
And then I got really nervous because like, what if I made him jump out of the plane and something goes wrong and it's all my fault that something went wrong and I was just like, no. <laughs> I just got really scared because he was there one second and the next second he was just gone. Step onto the edge, don't know what's in front of me, pulling on my strings, devil takes a hold of me, check, check, check my parachute, check, check, check my parachute. remember what I was doing and I was sitting on the edge of the plane. It was like, I was really excited and then I just didn't want to jump. I just had to have him push me. I think I prayed a little bit, probably cussed a little bit, screamed, and fell. Here comes the After that split second, you can kind of enjoy it because you don't feel like your stomach's dropping anymore. You're just floating in the air and wind's hitting your face super hard and it's like you can't hear anything and your ears are popping, And <laughs> but it was fun. One of the pros of him spinning was I did get to see like every angle <laughs> that there was up there <laughs> and it was really pretty. <laughs> I feel so sick, that was so fun. It was really fun. You like it? <laughs> yeah. How are you? You're crazy. What? You're crazy. <laughs> so obviously, Steve was using her to get at me and get her humor to make me laugh, but I feel like once it was got played out too much, we started getting into real conversation. Uh, he's actually kind of cool. Tony was kind of cool. Uh, I think when he started talking about art, I was like, okay, you know what? Steve is cool, but I'm actually gonna hang out with this guy for a second. And the chicken was great, so. Art's like super hard because you, it's this idea you feel like you're faking it, mm -hmm. you know? Like people are gonna find out that you're not actually good at art. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was like one of my biggest fears. It was like, when I came here, cause I have, didn't do art really in high school. Yeah. So I basically have no art experience. I go into college wanting to do art. Yeah. Every single one of my friends from high school, I'm the only person I even went into arts. The Everyone else went to like engineering, like pre-med wow. and math. Everyone kind of just thought I probably wouldn't be successful. It's okay. I mean, yeah. Success is a hard thing to even define. Mm -hmm. How would you, define success? For me, I would define, well, society has a like, definition of success, and that's probably gauged around like income and yeah. family. I think success would be more defined by being personally happy with like my spiritual walk. That's all I need. Wow. Yeah. The dinner went great. After like a good amount of awkwardness, we were actually able to engage in good, meaningful conversation. In finding a partner, I definitely think that she would have to have humor because if she doesn't laugh at my jokes, there's just gonna be a lot of awkward situations. Mm. Cheers, to, Cheers to fasting. Fasting? Fasting. And? Friendship. Friendship? Yep, friendship. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, just friends? For the time being, yeah. I would like to think it was an actual date. So uh, that marks three, two, two real Biola dates that I've been on in the past three and a half years. I think my ratio is looking good. We went skydiving together. So I'd jump out of a plane for you. Are you feeling pretty good about <laughs> your choice in the boys? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, and you hate heights. <laughs>
Do you think your fears are conquered? No. (laughs) But kind of. You go on a roller coaster now because it's like nothing. No, because that feeling Uh, that I hate. It was only for like a second. It was when you jumped out of the plane. That Kaylin was willing to do this for me, that is kind of a big reassurance and it just tells me that he wants me to be happy and wants to do things that I enjoy and is willing to take that step for me. Thank you. I don't think it's really a, you do this for me and I'll do this for you thing. But I'd definitely be willing to do whatever. Relationships are give and take, so I mean, down the line, it's gonna come back my way, right? Or it should, maybe. (laughs) Dude, how did the date go? The date was very interesting. She essentially started feeding me at certain points. How did you feel about that? Did you kind of like it? Well, I thought it was hilarious, but I wasn't, I couldn't laugh, so. Do you think you'll go on a date with her again? I would like to hang out with her again. I don't want to relive that experience. I don't think anyone would ever relive that experience. The chicken was great, but I don't really feel like it's going to go anywhere in terms of relationships. So what is your ideal woman then? Like, if Emily's not it, who, like, who is it? What is it? Asians. <laughs> what? Asians, just Asians? Yeah, all I'm of them? sorry. They're just so elegant and graceful and beautiful. You're getting a little hot over there right now, buddy. I think we need to take a swim. Now we're cooking. What are you doing? Why do you have your shirt on? Um, I've never had to take my shirt off. Are you a never nude? Well, I think that's an extreme term, but I do prefer to keep my clothing on. (laughs) You're everywhere. Never nudes are everywhere. Fish, mm. I'm gonna do something. You have to copy me. If you can't do it, you get a letter. Going nowhere. We're just gonna tie. I'm going inside to get a drink. You want anything? Right. Yeah, just surprise me. <laughs> okay. Hey, do you mind if I use your couch? No. Yeah, right here. I really oh. feel like this is gonna sink at some point. Yep. Slowly sinking. We're going, we're going down. No, no, no. You still have a problem. <laughs> My son's just hanging up. Oh, oh no. Oh, we're going down. Let's get to the other side. <laughs> 